In this fast pixel style world, players can freely explore and battle. The game combines classic RPG elements with an innovative combat system. You can choose to be a mage, knight, or fighter. Challenge powerful enemies and bosses to earn valuable resources. Upon entering the game, let's start with the gacha to draw cores and weapons. Each player can draw two cores. Next, let's draw weapons. Now, click here and add the two drawn cores in party setup. Click deploy to successfully form your team. Let's return to the main screen. Click the user button. Now, let's switch out the weapons, replacing them with more powerful ones. We've added the cores and switched the weapons. Now, let's officially start the tasks. Task 1, collect carrots. The first task is to collect 5 carrots. If you don't know where to find carrots, press the M key and click on carrot to track its location. Walk near the carrot and press F to collect it. After collecting, find the starting NPC for dialogue, submit the task, and receive a new one. Task 2, collect 5 apples and 5 mushrooms. Both mushrooms and apples are in the starting area. Apples can be obtained by hitting apple trees. Click to hit the apple tree, and apples will drop, press F to collect them. After collecting, go back to the NPC to submit the task. Task 3, make two mushroom skewers. First, Find the pot and press F to start cooking. Find the mushroom skewer. Click the card to see the required materials. Click cook manually. Cooking precision is crucial. When the fork reaches the DPL sign, it means the best heat level. Click to stop to make the fork stay in the DPL sign for optimal heat to maximize the ingredients. After making the mushroom skewers, go to the NPC to submit the task. Task 4. Defeat Cryptopic Souls. You can also press them to open the map and locate the cryptopic souls. Or pass through the stone forest to find a large number of cryptopic souls. Q and E are skill attacks. Defeating enemies will drop materials. Task 5. Head to the grasslands. To reach the grasslands, use the skyline. Find the cryptopic soul gathering area. You can discover the skyline deeper inside. Board the skyline and press F to fly to the grasslands. The yellow marker indicates the task location. Reach the designated location and talk to the NPC to receive the new task. Activate the new teleport point. Task 6. Make mushroom made skewers. Press the B key and check the ingredients in your inventory. Clearly, we need more ingredients. Let's gather mushrooms and meat. First, collect mushrooms. Then click the playbook at the top right. Click on the Animal tab, find animals that provide meat. And then click Track to see their location on the map. Using the same method, collect the required materials. Return to the pot, press F to start cooking, and complete this task. Continue talking to the NPC to begin the next task. The next task is to defeat 10 Inf Gems. Open the map, look at the Inf Gems, and track them for combat. Remember to pick up the drop coins, iron pieces, and data fragments to complete the task. Task 8. Defeat the Figurements and collect tributes. Press M for the map. Find the location of the Figurements. Various areas on the map have enemies. If enemies in one area are defeated, you can teleport to other areas for more. Use the Q and E keys for skills. Attacks can defeat enemies faster. If health drops, Collect fruits, open your bag, and use them to restore health. Report back to receive the next task. Head to the snowy mountain and find the mysterious man. To facilitate the next tasks, activate the teleport point first. We finally arrived at the final task of the tutorial, defeat the data ice dragon. Defeating the data ice dragon requires climbing the snowy mountain. Here's a quick tip. After reaching this point, you can see a skyline below. Take the skyline to quickly reach the mountain top. Reach the summit and enter the palace to start the battle against the Data Ash Dragon. Defeat all enemies to receive rewards. Open the treasure chest. This concludes our tutorial. We hope this guide was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.